current Vice Speaker of the Hawaii House of Representatives, Arlington. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon and aloha. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here today for your white coat ceremony, for your first graduating class of doctors of nursing, doctors of nursing practice from the University of Hawaii at Hilo. So you are the trailblazers. You actually beat UH Manoa, Dr. Hilo yeah. Thomas. Centric here, are we? Now, I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to recognize a few of you who have made the difference. Um, to the director and professor, uh, Dr. K. Da, a job well done. Thank you so much. Your father had good uh, wisdom in saying, "Keep a cool head." Um, but he did it. Uh, you, Jerry, is Jerry Chang still here? Jerry Chang uh, is a former legislator, been there for over two decades, worked in collaboration with you and Dr. Hirokawa. So all of you blaze the trail of glory. And again, you guys claim this, you own it. You beat University of Hawaii at Manoa, so congratulations. How about a hand? I wanted to thank a good friend of mine, Noemi Arzaga, actually Dr. Arzaga. She worked with us on legislation, House Bill 398 became law, and she did her um, symposium on a beautiful piece. And it talks about the healthcare system, how we need to collaborate, how we need to be more efficient, cut down on duplication of services, and she's spot on. And this, this probably represents why we're here today. So I wanted to thank her at that time. At this point, too, I would also be remiss if I did not thank all all the faculty, the staff, the volunteers, who made this night possible. So again, I apologize if I don't say your name, but how about a warm round of applause for all those involved in this ceremony? <laughs> Today is an exceptional day. To the students who are newly conferred with the Doctor of Nursing degrees, you have attained the highest level of academic recognition in the School of Nursing. Not only have you beat the University of Hawaii at Manoa, but you'll be, you'll be blazing a trail for others to follow. Today is a culmination of years of study, lab work, personal sacrifices. And at this time, may we take this moment and share your accomplishment with your family and friends. Certainly, your achievement is a source of considerable pride to those who have supported you. How about a hand for your family and friends? Now, for, for those of you, I'm gonna just, I'll be just a couple more minutes, but I'm gonna go on a slight tangent, so I'm gonna ask for your kind indulgence. I'm gonna kind of curve into the legislative arena. So I know the word politician always isn't a good word, but being from the Hawaii State Legislature, I want to give you a perspective, two points, two points, why, why, your, why your doctorate nursing, uh, what it exemplifies, what it helps our state go forward, why? Two points, think about this and in the end it'll make sense. First, there's an urgency, urgency, remember that word, there's an urgency, second, what you do is established in a fundamental principle that we all are attached to in society. Okay? Urgency and an established fundamental principle. I'll get into that and at the end you'll know what I'm saying. This year we passed uh, the Maui Memorial Public-Private Partnership. It was contentious. Uh, Dr. Hirokawa, you'll know. We support unions. We support UPA, um, UPW. HEA, we do. You've got Westwell working at Maui Memorial and they're about to lay off 500, maybe 1,000 employees. We've got to do something. And so we support our employees, we support our unions, but we can't have that hospital uh, bankrupt. We can't. And so we did something that the legislature has never done. We did a public-private partnership. This may be a prelude for more options like this. 
And I'll tell you why this is so important, and it relates to the word urgency. Every year, taxpayers spend between 90 to $100 million to help subsidize the Hawaii Healthcare Systems Corporation, their state-run hospitals. Politicians won't say that in the paper. They don't want to, because it's, it's not a good thing to say, especially in an election year. That's the truth. And so there's an urgency to get healthcare providers and to address the healthcare shortage that we have. Second, by year 2020, we'll have one in four adults. As Dr. Hirokawa so, so um, exquisitely said, save another slot for Mizuno too, because I'm gonna need a doctor. <laughs> one in four will be age 60 or older by year 2020. Folks, members, the state of Hawaii is growing faster than any state in the nation. So there's an urgency to have specialized healthcare professionals in the healthcare continuum. You represent that. There's an urgency, and you're addressing that urgency. Second, you represent a fundamental principle that we all find dear, dearly connected to us in our society. Upon taking your oath as a doctor of nursing, you will devote your life in the healthcare field. You'll be caring for our most needy in society. You will not only be caring for our elderly, our disabled, our addicted, but you'll be caring for our children, our keiki. Some of our keiki with autism, with developmental disabilities. You'll be dealing with veterans who are suffering post-traumatic stress disorder, domestic violence victims, sexually assaulted victims, members that may have a condition that they need help in. At times, this may seem like a thankless endeavor, but believe me, your career displays a fundamental principle of the spirit of aloha. An urgency to do this now, and a fundamental principle established in our state that we need you. On behalf of the state legislature, I'd like to wish you continued success in all future endeavors. It is in serving that you will find greatness. You can and will make the difference. Your excellence in the healthcare system will make Hawaii a healthier and better place. God bless you and mahalo. Thank you.